And finally tonight, a moving story from Martha's Vineyard where they're making history by saving history. This is the question of the day facing a team of expert movers on Martha's Vineyard. How do you move an iconic 160-year-old, 400-ton national treasure? All right, we're actually starting to move now. Very carefully and very slowly, just about a foot each minute. The man in charge of relocating the Gay Head Lighthouse, Len Butler, the man on the right, says the speed, or rather the distinct lack of it, is for a reason. If the, enough of the bricks cracked, it would be catastrophic. It could come tumbling down. The lighthouse sits six feet off the ground and is being pushed down soap lathered steel rails by two hydraulic pistons. It's all being done under the watchful eye of Richard Skidmore, who's been the lighthouse keeper for 25 years. I have to say that it is just a gratifying moment to uh, have the reality of the uh, care for this building manifested. Move the light along just incrementally. We first met Skidmore in 2013. The lighthouse was then just 46 feet away from the fragile cliff's eroding edge. At the time, he made a dire prediction. Uh, we've put a date of 2015 uh, that this light has to be moved within that, by that year. Or what? <laughs> or it would tumble into the sea. So here they are in 2015, having raised almost three and a half million dollars to pay for the move and restoration. There has been a lighthouse at this location since 1799. This one was built in 1856 at a time when the channel below was the busiest shipping lane in the country and the boats were guided by the beacon on the hill. The new location, about 130 feet inland, should be far enough back to protect it from future erosion for at least another century, or hopefully long beyond that. It's amazingly gratifying to see the love for this monument, which I see as being a love for the, the history of this place. This is the, the emblem of our shared past. Mr. Skidmore, the lighthouse keeper, says the lighthouse should be open to the public sometime in July. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. Later on CBS, 48 hours. For now, I'm Jim Axelrod in New York. And for all of us here at CBS News, thanks for joining us and good night.